Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of personal financial literacy, debit and credit. This is standard 6.14b in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 28 of the 2022 released STAR test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on our own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we need to find a statement that is true for credit, but not true for debit. Okay, so that's going to be uh, kind of interesting. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just make a little T-chart off to the side. We'll just label it credit and debit. And we'll just read each of these statements and we'll see if these are true. Now this is personal financial literacy, so we're not really doing any f of the four operations. It's just what do we understand about money and what do we understand about how money works. So let's just get started with F, a cardholder. So the cardholder, that's you. All right. So if you have a debit card or you have a um, credit card, must use a personal identification number, a PIN number, when making purchases. Hmm. So this is a very good question. All right. So if you've ever been with your uh, mom or dad or aunt or uncle, and maybe you're getting money out of the bank or something, sometimes they have to put in a pin, right? Or they're at Walmart and they're putting in their, their card, they have to put in a pin, but not all the time. So here's where a pin comes in. A pin is actually required for your debit card because your debit card is connected straight to your checking account. That money goes straight from your checking account to whatever store you're using to purchase it. So there's that extra layer of protection because once that money is gone, it's gone. It's hard to get it back. Not impossible, but hard to get it back. You actually don't need a PIN for your credit card because when you pay with a credit card, you're not actually paying the store. If you go into Walmart and you pay with a credit card, the credit card is paying Walmart and then you pay the credit card back. So it doesn't come straight from your checking account. So we want a statement that is true for credit and not true for debit. So that's not it because it's actually reversed. But that's kind of what we're looking for. So it's not going to be F. So G, U. We'll have money withdrawn from an associated checking account when making purchases. All right, we were just talking about this. If you pay with a debit card, yes, it's going to come straight out of your checking account. Now, the, the tricky thing, obviously, is the credit and the debit card. They both say MasterCard. They both say Visa. So debit cards look very similar. It's kind of hard to tell from the outside which one is which. You have to know the difference because they'll both have a credit card name on their MasterCard or Visa. That just makes it easier for stores to accept it. But a debit card comes straight out of your checking account. That money is immediately, by the end of the day, moved. Whereas a credit card, no. Like I said, the MasterCard or Visa or Discover, American Express, whatever, they're paying the store and then you pay them back. So this is true for debit, not true for credit. That's the opposite of what we're wanting. So the answer is not G. H. A cardholder will be charged interest on a purchase unless the balance on the card is paid in full at the end of the billing period. Well, if you've been listening, you know this can't be the debit card. There's no interest because that that balance is immediately paid. You're just it's going straight from your your checking account to the store. But remember with a credit card, the credit card is paying off the store, then you pay them back. And as long as you pay them back by the end of the the billing period, you're good. But if you pay if you buy a five hundred dollar TV and you only pay two hundred dollars by the end of the peri billing period, which is the end of each month then they'll take that extra $300, they'll carry it over to the next month, but now they're going to charge you interest. So that's where the interest comes in, and that's that's where they get their money. And then J, a cardholder can use an automated ATM to withdraw money. That's yes for debit. That's no for credit because that credit is not attached to your uh, checking account. So as you see here, our answer is going to be H.